Hey everybody, welcome back to Princess Friend, exploring music through Prince. Uh, today, I am uh, happy to welcome back a friend of the show, D'Angela Duff. Uh, Thank how you. How are you doing? I am so wonderful being here with you. It is always a pleasure to see you and to talk Prince with you. So thank you for allowing me to be on your amazing show. Well, thank you. So, so much the same, the same thrown back at you. Uh, you invited me to the last symposium, uh, which was awesome. And, uh, and that one was virtual though. <laughs> and, uh, and also, uh, you got to, you got to like write on the last box set. You like, you got to write a little, um, yes, yes. too. So yes. if, if anyone is like, pearls. Exactly for diamonds and pearls. So if anybody's just like, "Hey, that name sounds familiar, D'Angela Duff," I don't know her from all the other stuff she does, but I might remember, I might recognize it from that. Uh, yes, you are you are um, an amazing person. So I am very happy to have you here, uh, and we are actually here to discuss because uh, we definitely wanted to get the word out to as many of. Uh, the, you know, the, the purple peeps that we can definitely all as Prince friends here on this channel. Uh, you have the erotic city 40th anniversary symposium that is coming up this weekend. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. First of all, hashtag erotic city 40. So that's how you can stay abreast of all of the postings that usually when it begins, which will be Friday at 9 AM at NYU, as well as online. So you can actually see the live stream directly from the symposium website. And the symposium website is eroticcity.polishsolid.com. And if that's too much for you to remember, just remember the bit.ly link. You know, so if you know about bit.ly, it's just bit.ly slash eroticcity40 with a capital E and a capital C. There you go. So and I'll make sure to have <laughs> links in the description anyway. Uh, awesome. So if anybody can't figure it out, just go into the, just click the link in the description. <laughs> yes, yes. So we actually have three full days. It's packed. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, so because I'm a little crazed, I am actually going to share my screen so I can actually share with all of you the schedule with the quickness for all three days. Yes. So just keep in mind that all the times are Eastern time. So be aware of that. And if you're coming in person, it's in Brooklyn at 370J, room 202. And if you're looking at this, you know, on a desktop, you have three columns. But if you're on your mobile phone, it's just one column. And every day, the doors are going to open at 8.30 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so our early risers will have something to do. Um, there will be a welcome from 9 to 9.30 on all three days. And we're technically Friday is the time slash Purple Rain album day. Yeah. And then Saturday is technically Purple Rain film day all day, every day. And then on Sunday, it's actually Apollonia 6 slash Sheila E. Day for Apollonia 6's self-titled debut, as well as Sheila E.'s The Glamorous Life, because we're celebrating all things 1984. So we're not just celebrating Purple Rain. And that's the reason why I called it Erotic City I'm so, instead of the Purple Rain Symposium, because we also want to celebrate the time Sheila E. and Apollonia 6. So on Friday, we're going to have a 90 minute round table. Michael Dean is going to kick things off and the panelists will be law. Everybody should know law from the purple community. Oh, yeah. Then we have Randy Ferguson from the purple townhouse in the next power generation. And then we have a local New York city DJ Shelly Wade rounding out the round table. We'll break for 30 minutes, and then there will be presentations by Christopher Daniel, a Clark Atlanta University professor, Robert Loss, who's also another professor, um, and Chris Robb, who is an amazing musician, and that will be 90 minutes. Then we will have lunch on your own, um, and so you'll be able to go in the surrounding vicinity of Brooklyn and um, talk to, and hopefully make a friend or some new friends and go go out to lunch. Then you come back at 2.30 and there will be Purple Rain album slash live presentations. 
Greg Howard, who's an amazing musician, will be moderating. And Arthur Turnbull is usually a symposium favorite. Uh, for anybody who's been following the symposia, his actually Arthur's first talk is probably the most favorite talk of all symposia. And he basically did it for the Love Sexy Symposium, a talk about all of the after um, Love Sexy after shows. Mm. And so Arthur is the only person who is getting 40 minutes for their presentations because all the other presentations are 20 minutes with the exception of Arthur because he always runs out of time. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give Arthur more time because he deserves it. Definitely. Then he, I hope he, he doesn't definitely. like over prepare and like he, I'm done in 15 minutes. Like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious, but no, that would not happen. I would know that I was in an alternate universe if that, <laughs> if that happened. And I am so like, so excited that Declan McCarthy, who's one of my favorites, he's coming all the way from England to present live. Oh, wow. Um, so I'm really excited about his presentation. And then we have Andrew Scott, who's also a professor, a music professor from Canada coming. So I'm excited about that. And then we will take another 30 minute break. And then at five, we'll have a purple round, ugh, purple rain album round table with a wonderful Tanya Pendleton, who's a symposium regular by this point. Oh, yeah. And then we're, we'll also have Jeremiah Freed, also known as Dr. Funkenberry. And this will be his first time um, joining us for a symposium. So I'm extremely excited about that. Whoa. And then we're going to have the author, Matt Thorne, who's also coming all the way from England to join us. And Matt Thorne um, wrote the book, Prince, the Man and the Music. And is one of my favorite books. He's one of my favorite authors. Super excited to have him and actually meet him in person. And then we will have the one and only Rodney Fitzgerald rounding out that round table. And then for the first time ever, in honor of our keynote, who is Fawn Terry of Lewis and Vaughn, we are going to have a daily fashion contest. And at that daily fashion contest, um, Attendees will be, you know, dress up and we have um, specifications and things. So for all days, you can wear purple, lace, satin, velvet, buttons, pearls, fringe, fishnet, florals, and feather boas, you know, for purple rain, purple rain tour, all that jazz. But because Friday technically is Ice Cream Castle Day too, if you want to represent for the time, pledge, pledge allegiance to the time, you can wear yellow, baggy pants, scarf, silk, Stacy Adams. So we will have a fashion contest and the winner will receive um, an official symposium poster, which was designed by the one and only and incredible Reverend. So that will be the, um, but the person who wins gets every single day. And then we'll take a break for dinner. And then at eight o'clock, we're going to have a Purple Rain live commentary, very similar to what we did for the Diamonds and Pearls Super Deluxe virtual celebration, mm -hmm. where we all watch the Glam Slam, meaning DIY screenings, like especially for um, those of you who are joining us virtually, because again, it will be live streamed from the website. And my dear friend from the ATL, Jason Orr, Funk Jazz Cafe, will be with us. Tanja Pagues will be with us, as well as Troy Gua and Jesse Jenkins. And also a part of what I consider like the next the next power generation. But also Jesse used to work with Prince. Yeah. So he has a lot of insider knowledge. So that's Friday. Oh, yeah. So again, 9 a.m., to 10 p.m. <laughs> so we'll see how many people keep coming back. So that's Friday. Then on Saturday, um, we're going to start off with Purple Rain film presentations as opposed to the album presentations that we're having on Friday. And the moderator will be my NYU colleague, Dee Simmons Jindai, who is a massive Prince fan. And then we'll also have Adam Reed Sexton. Um, a professor from Yale. We'll also have Crystal Wise, who's a professor at the University of Minnesota. And we'll also have Kirstie Faircloud, who, who actually started all of the 
press conferences. She basically did the first one oh. uh, back in 2017 um, called Purple Rain, R-E-I-G-N. And it was held in Manchester, England. And that's where I met a lot of people who are now annual participants in the, in the symposium. But then we're also going to have Robin Shumais, um do a Purple Rain film presentation. Then we'll break for 30 minutes. Then we will have an in-person session of What Did Prince Do This Week, which is um, a show that Michael Dean and I co-host on Saturday, every Saturday at noon on YouTube, except for this week it won't be on YouTube because it will be streaming from the symposium website. So I'm really excited because on the show, and I'll let um, your your um your viewers know this as well. Um, so on the show, we were talking about the symposium and every week we hold up the book that we're reading, which is Duane Tudal's um, Studio Sessions book, you know, 83 to 84. And we were, and, and, and I was like, everybody should bring your books. And then some people were like, but if we're out of town, that book is heavy. We don't want to put it in our luggage. <laughs> They ain't and, wrong. They ain't wrong. They ain't wrong. <laughs> so they were like, "What's that?" And and someone was like, "We should have fans, like church fans, because we often go to church on what did Prince do this week." So um, for those of you who come to the in person, what did Prince do this week? You're going to get a special fan that's only going to be given to the people who show up for what did Prince do this week. That's awesome. So, and it's and it's cool that you're keeping it going, right? It's not like, well, we have the symposium, guys. We're going to take the week off. It's like, nah, we'll do it. Especially with you both being in the same room together. There's no reason not to then at that point. Yeah, yeah. And we actually did it together in the same room last year for the tri Triple Threat 40 Symposium when we celebrated 1999, Vanity Six, and what time is it? So this will be our second time doing um, What Did Prince Do This Week? Um live you know with an audience and it was like really really fun that's awesome and then we'll break for lunch again for 90 minutes and then we will have what i call my powerhouse uh, purple rain film round table with professor mark anthony neal from duke university uh, one of the core four also known as the four u crew the original panel sahir ali then we'll have the author and NYU professor, Dan Charnas, who wrote the fantastic book, Dilatime. If you haven't read it, you definitely should. And I highly recommend that you listen to the audiobook because he does an amazing job with the narration. Then we have the legendary music journalist and NYU professor, Carol Cooper. And then we have C. Lee McGinnis. And if you've never seen C. Lee speak, you got to come because he is amazing. So having him with Carol Cooper and Dan Charnas and Sayer and Mark Anthony Neal is going to be a hoot. So if you can make that, I, I would definitely try to. But if you can only come to one thing or if you can only watch one thing, the one thing that I would highly recommend that you watch would be our keynote with Vaughn Terry, who is one half of Lewis and Vaughn, who were the designers who designed a lot of what Prince wore for the Purple Rain era, as well as some other eras like Under the Cherry Moon and Parade. And um, it's, it's going to be an amazing talk. You do not want to miss it if you particularly love Prince's fashion during this particular era. I am super psyched. Can't wait uh, for this conversation. And we have a lot of amazing, we have a slide deck with a lot of amazing images. So I hope everyone will come out for that if you want to come in person. And then obviously you can also catch the live stream and what's awesome about coming in person is that the fashion contest will um, have voluntary involved, you know, in terms of um, with the judging. So that's very exciting. So again, all the Purple Rain wear for, for Saturday, but also because we're talking about the Purple Rain film, you can channel your any inner Billy Sparks with velour leisure suits and shades. <laughs> so if you don't want to dress up and you want to go the opposite direction, um, this would be the day for you to participate in the fashion contest. And then we're going to have um, a couple of hours for dinner on your own. And then hopefully you'll come back for a very 
special private pre-screening of a documentary by Jason Orr about the story of jazz funk fusion and the music that changed the world. And the reason why we're including this because it's not a Prince documentary is that in addition to being the 40th anniversary of Purple Rain and all the other albums we talked about, it is also the 20th anniversary of musicology. Mm -hmm. And someone asked me like, are you gonna do a 20th, uh, I'm sorry, a symposium for musicology? And I go, no, because I'm also doing another symposium in August for Come. And it's only so many things I can, like symposia I can do in a year. Oh, yeah. And two is my max. But I couldn't let musicology go because obviously a 20 year anniversary is important. And everyone should know that that's around the time where Prince started, you know, talking about real music for real musicians. And so the documentary is going to be about real musicians um, from the jazz funk fusion. So if you're a music head, I highly recommend that you come and see this private pre-screening. So that is Saturday. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Uh, is there is there going to be information on where that might be available after? Like, I know this is a pre-screening, but do you have uh, details on when that might be available for the public? No, I don't have any details. So this is extremely special. So this um, this is, like is like high scarcity. <laughs> yes, high scarcity, exclusive. So I, I honestly don't know. It could be three months, six months, a year from now. I, I really don't know what Jason has in store for distribution and all that. I'm sure he's going to do the festival circuit and all that jazz. So it's a, it's a special treat for music heads. Yeah. So Sunday, again, is Apollonia 6 and Glamorous Life Day. Again, we start at 930. We're going to have an Apollonia 6 roundtable. Um, moderated by another next power generation person in India, uh, known as Miss India. And we're going to have Violet Brown, who is coming from Minneapolis, mm. technically St. Paul, but I, I count St. Paul as Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have... It's, it's there. It's Minneapolis, St. Paul. Like, it's, it's St. Paul, Minneapolis. It's the same. It's, it's, the, uh, it's yeah. the, the, what is it called? Twin Cities, sister? Yes, it's, yes, the Twin Cities. Yeah, it's, it's all about the Twin Cities. And then we're going to have Rhonda Nicole, who's coming all the way from L.A. We have Tanisha Scott and Tammy Sharp, both local, but they're amazing, especially if you came to Triple Threat 40 and saw the Chris Robb presentation. They, I'm sorry, um, performance, they actually uh, did some Vanity Six songs and they really committed and they were awesome so it's no telling what they have up their sleeve for the apollonia six round table and tammy sharp is always sharp like her name so she's going to be dressed to the nines so again um with the fashion theme it's um she'll probably be wearing something amazing mm. and then we'll break again for 30 minutes and then there will be apollonia six presentations which are moderated by chris aguilar garcia who's coming from the west coast and then my favorite presenter i always love zach's presentations and he has a blog called DMSR, Dance Music Sex Romance, and he has written about Apollonia 6. So I begged him if anyone was going to present on Apollonia 6, it should be Zach. And luckily he agreed to do so. And then I'm very, very excited that we're going to have Craig Seymour joining us for the first time, giving an Apollonia 6 presentation, as well as a professor from the new school called Brittany, Brittany Proctor Hill. So they will be doing presentations about the Apollonia 6 album. Then we'll take 90 minutes for lunch. Then we'll have what I call the original four. I started doing these events back in 2017. We did our first one for Sound of the Times and it was just a panel and screening. And these four guys have been with me every single symposium and every single event, with the exception of Miles Marshall Lewis, who missed. He broke the chain for the Diamonds and Pearls Super Deluxe virtual celebration because he couldn't get out of some country he was in. But it wasn't a symposium. So he technically didn't break the symposium chain, but he did um, break like it was it was like our 11th consecutive um, conversation about Prince together or something like that. Well, I mean, so, we always want to have the technicalities there just because <laughs> we don't want to break the chain, but we can like, we can be like, it's, it's, techni it's technically there. It's good. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. So it's Sayer Lee, Anil Dash, who's a massive Prince fan. If you don't know Anil, you should Google. Do your Googles, as Michael Dean would say. <laughs> Miles Marshall Lewis, who's an amazing music journalist and author. Um, he just he wrote um, a book about Kendrick Lamar that was released about a year or so ago, and he's currently working on one on Dave Chappelle. And Elliot H. Powell is a University of Minnesota professor. So super excited, always excited about the conversation. And then we are going to almost end with some, after a 30 minute break, some presentations, a couple of presentations about the glamorous life from Dr. Mari, who is a professor locally, as well as Karen Turman, who is a professor at Harvard. And it's going to be moderated by Tanya Giddens, who um, is um, part of the Purple Paisley Brunch, if you've been to any of those events. And then we will have our final fashion contest, and then it will be a wrap. However, that is not all. <laughs> so, so it's not um, a wrap. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's not a wrap. So one more thing I want to share. Um, first of all, if you're coming or if you're already here for the symposium, Mono Neon is actually performing at the Blue Note every single night up until Sunday. It just coincided. It was just a coincidence. And he's playing two shows every night at um, the Blue Note. So if you haven't had an opportunity to see Mono Neon, I would highly recommend that you do. Um, he's obviously an amazing musician, but we have a very special performance that I'm super excited about actually tomorrow night. So I am going to share my screen one more time to talk about um, how you can find out about the speaker announcements. So I have... Um, and you can kind of get up to speed on what's going on every day. So it's on Substack and it is eroticcity40.substack.com. It's really important that you put the 40 because if you don't, it'll take you to somebody else's. <laughs> so it's Erotic City 40. And there um, I'm going to post a new message um, tomorrow. But I sent out this message about 10 days ago. And if you subscribe, you will get them directly to your inbox. But if you don't want to subscribe, you can just go to the URL I just talked about. And you can stay informed of what's going on every single day. But I'm going to scroll down. I'll put a link, and, I'll put a link to the Substack as well in the, okay. in the description to make sure everybody can get there. Yeah, thank you so much. So this is Von Terry. He is going to be, I can't wait to see what he's going to wear, but you know, he's going to be sharp. But the reason why I'm showing this is because I want to show this, which is if you go to the Substack and you click on this image, you will be able to go buy tickets to Law's show. And um, Law was, I'm so grateful. He was like, I want to do a Prince tribute show and I want to align it with the symposium. Can you let me know when it's happening? He didn't have to do that. But I thought that that was really brilliant of him. And I'm really grateful. It's a, an awesome way to kick off the symposium. Yeah. And I don't know, Eloy, have you ever seen Law perform live or, or have you seen no. any video? I mean, I've, I've had the honor of being on a couple of panels with him and like and all that stuff. Uh, and I've heard his music, but I have not seen him live. He is an incredible live. I've seen him uh, several times. And if you're coming in, you definitely want to see him perform. If you want to get your energy level up, let's say you're tired and you just want to make sure that you're lit for the symposium in terms of energy and passion and you come see law. And it's going to be at the Triad Theater, um, which is up on, let's see, 158 West 72nd Street. So it's in Manhattan, even though the symposium is in Brooklyn, but it will definitely be worth worth the trek to see law very cool and so that's happening thursday night tomorrow night thursday night yes thursday and tomorrow just in case uh this goes up thursday morning yes. it is thursday 
<laughs> yeah, Thursday night, Thursday night. And um, on the Substack, I have a clip of a recent show uh, from 2023, so you can get a sense of what he's like. It's, it's just a clip. It's not um, the entire show. Mm -hmm. And then, again, I have, um, I was just blown away when Tanisha reached out and said that they wanted to do like an unofficial after show for the symposium. So if you're like hyped up after the symposium on Sunday and you need some place to let that energy out, I hope that you will go to that bar. It's literally called that bar in Brooklyn, <laughs> um, 4750 Fifth Avenue for a music video jam, Prince edition with DJ Fritzo as well as DJ Monday Blue and Chinesha will be hosting. So that will be from six to 10. So again, I hope that you will support them and support that bar and get your dance on if you need some dance in your life, right? And then if dancing is not your thing or a bar is not your thing, then another speaker, Robin Shemaze, is having her vocal debut um, at a burlesque show where she'll be performing burlesque, burlesque as well as um, doing her vocal debut. So if you want to do something different on Sunday, you can. And that will be at 7 p.m. in Manhattan at Avenue A. So there's a lot of stuff to do during the symposium as well as around the symposium. And this is the Mono Neon flyer for Blue Note. Um, Eric Gales, if you're into your guitar and all that, will be with him on 11th um, tomorrow and Friday. And then he'll have some other guests as well. So that's a lot going on. <laughs> it definitely is. That's awesome, though. Uh, you know, honest, honestly, the, um, having Von Terry there is a, is a huge deal. And can you, uh, can you tell me a little bit, like, how did you even land that kind of awesome special guest? Like, how did that even happen? It was just by last year during celebration, there was a jelly bean put on something at the Capri for the Minneapolis, is it Minneapolis Sound Museum? Uh, Mini, uh, it's MCM. Yeah, it's. But you know what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I went to that, and Von Terry was one of the panelists. It was a lot of people there there that night. It was Dr. Fink. It was Sue Ann Carwell. Um, you know, there it it was a lot of people. Um, Eric Rogers was also there, and. Um, if I remember correctly, because my memory is bad, I think he, he might have been DJing. I, I can't, but I can't remember. But anyway, after the panels, I went up to um, Bon Terry and I told him about the symposia. And I was like, I would really love for you to come and talk with us, you know, if you're open to it. And we exchanged phone numbers. And then so... I summoned up the courage and I called him and he was like, yes, I remember you. And we just started talking and he got comfortable with me and he's now he's super excited. And I'm so excited oh, that he, awesome. has I mean, that kind of just shows, it shows you, right. Just like, just get rid of the nerves, swallow them down if you need to. And just, you know, even if they're a celebrity, even if they're somebody big, just be like, Hi, my name is, um, I just wanted to say, just, just say something, right? Cause if nothing else, they'll be like, thank you. And then you'll have your, like your little interaction. And you know, if it's on the great end of the spectrum, you'll be able to invite them to be special guests at your symposium. You know, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. It's easier said than done. Cause I am an introvert. Like I'm a, a hard eye. I, I just play an extrovert in real life. So, um, it's, it's, it can be very um, nerve wracking for me to ask because one, I don't like to bother people. I respect people's privacy. Yeah. And um, also like, for instance, I, I met Prince one time and I got my love symbol CD signed. And do you think I said one thing to Prince? No. Mm -hmm. Why? Because what could I say that he hadn't heard a, a gazillion times? And also I just didn't want to say, thank you, Prince from the music like I mean, it's just like i what can you say so a lot of times when i meet um you know people that i admire i go like i will say this though i had the opportunity 
to meet Terry Lewis last year during the PopCon, the Terry Lewis and Jimmy Jam. I didn't get to, I didn't go up to Jimmy Jam because I was just like, I, I just mustered the courage just to talk to Terry. <laughs> Both of them at once would have been too much. But yeah, it would have been, it would have been too one. much. It would have been too much. <laughs> so I literally go up to Terry and I, this is what I say. There's nothing I can tell you that you haven't already heard. And he was like, no, I'm hearing it from you. And I thought that was so That's incredible it. for him to be that gracious. That's and he was like, no, I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah. And I was like, wow, he's an amazing person. <laughs> because awesome. most people would go like, yeah, I have heard it all. Go well, away. Now, so my <laughs> trick, uh, just for anybody who is who is still just wanting more advice on how to do this, um, <laughs> my trick is you just hang out with somebody who has no shame is usually what I do. Uh, because I am, I'm just like you, I am never the one to go up and say hi or initiate, but I usually hang out with people who have no shame and they'll be like, Hey, did you know my friend, a lawyer, he's over here. And I'll, and then I'll be like, Hey, how you doing? And, and then I'm fine because the, the ice is broken, right? Somebody else yeah. already did the hard part, which really wasn't that hard. And it wasn't really that hard, but it's hard for me. Right. Um, so yeah. So, uh, get more friends with no shame. That's, I mean, yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that is actually a really good advice. Um, yeah, <laughs> I second that. <laughs> so, um, so what was the? Uh, I, I had a couple of questions because sure. uh, I did like the the organization of it uh, with the being time album and then movie and then Apollonia and Sheila E at the end. Um, what was there? Was there like a? a was there any like battle about like that schedule of how to actually fit it all in and how yeah. to actually organize it? Yeah. So my mom tells me every year that is far too long. And the, and, the, <laughs> and this year um, is actually probably the longest. Of, usually there's one long day. We never really have had two long days. Am I lying? I'm lying because we did that last year as well because we had the keynote with Jill Jones and then we had the performance from Chris Robb. So it's it's pretty much. But the thing is, this is the first time doing four albums as opposed to three albums. And generally, I want um, at least one panel of presentations and one roundtable for each album. Mm -hmm. So and then in the past... Um, sometimes, oh, and then it is further complicated because we can not only talk about Purple Rain, the album, right. but we also have to talk about Purple Rain, the film. So technically there are five things we're talking about. Yeah. So normally it's three has been the max. And, and to be honest, like for a like not a long time. So the first one was for Love Sexy. The second one was for um, Batman. And then um, with the third one, it was going to be just Dirty Mind. No, it was just Dirty Mind and Graffiti Bridge. That was the third one. And then the fourth one, because I had just done two albums, the, the fourth one was going to be um, Controversy and the Rainbow Children. But Elliot was like, it's the 20th anniversary of, you know, I'm, I'm not the 20th, the 30th anniversary of Diamonds and Pearls. You, we got to celebrate Diamonds and Pearls. And I was like, yeah, I want to celebrate Diamonds and Pearls too, but we're already talking about two albums. <laughs> so that's when I figured out that, oh, we can do three albums in one weekend. But this is probably, um, what's the word? Like I'm maxed out in terms of what we can cram into three days. Cause I didn't want to go to four days cause that would just be too much of a commitment. Yeah. So it was almost like, um, like, oh, what do you call that? Um, Tetris, you know, trying to fit like <laughs> all of them in because yeah. also normally like last year, the days were clean, meaning like we had a 1999 day and we had a, what time is it day? And then we had a vanity six day, but I couldn't get it clean. So we got purple rain with ice cream castles. We got Apollonia with Sheila E. 
So it was a little bit of. Um, I love the way that you organized it. I was just wondering how how much work actually went into that because it's that. It, it, it's a lot of work actually, and I did something. I shouldn't say this. I'm gonna tell it to you. No, don't say it if it's gonna get you in trouble. Don't say it. It's not gonna get me in trouble, but I was like, what was wrong with me? I normally start off the days, if you look at Triple Threat last year with presentations and then have roundtables after the presentations, but I flipped it and I don't know why. So we're starting off with roundtables and then presentations. And by the time I figured it out, I had already scheduled everyone and it would take forever to like, it, it would have been like trying to reschedule like 20 people or even more than that. And I was like, I can't do it. So this will be something new to see how the maybe round tables, you know, at 930 in the morning is the way to go to get people because like Michael Dean is kicking things off. And if as long as Michael Dean has gotten rest if I could come in, you know, he can like bring the energy level up. Yeah. So you know, I like the um, idea of um, I like the idea of starting with uh, roundtables because it's like you you show up and you're part of a discussion first mm -hmm. as opposed to. All right, everybody get quiet because you're going to listen to one person talk. And I think it does. I think it's probably better to have it be first. But I guess we'll see. Right. This will be. the Yes, we'll right? see. But I really appreciate you saying that. Eli. Actually, I feel a lot better now. I was like, you know what? Eli's right. I think. Yeah. You know what? I would really love to do. Um, but I don't know how it would jive because I have to be very careful of what I show. You know, but I I love what I, what I loved about celebration for a long time is that we started off every day with a concert from Prince. Yeah, that was amazing. So it didn't matter what time it was, you came in, you saw Prince, and that was just like. Um, so I've never done that before. So, I, but I often think about you know, wouldn't it be amazing if we could start off every day like that? I think it would be, but I mean, if nothing else, I mean, you've crafted a really cool three day schedule here. And honestly, like for anybody who's flying in from out of town, like, you know, like a two day or a one day is fine if you live in Brooklyn, because you just, yeah. just drive over and hang out and then I'll leave. But if people are flying out and doing hotels and doing all the stuff, you've definitely given them enough to justify going in person. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that that's definitely pretty awesome. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but I will say when we did the Love Sexy Symposium and that was just one full day and an evening, mm -hmm. we had like a keynote and people came from all over. I had people from Chicago. I had someone come in from like the Batman one was two days. Someone came in from Australia. So it just, it really depends on, I think the album and obviously whatever else is going on in that person's life. Um, but I do, I've thought about that too, Eloy. Like if you're asking people to come from out of town and out of the country, cause a lot of people like, there are like three or four speakers coming from England alone that you want to make it worth their while. So two days, uh, okay, but three days, I think you're right. It's probably better for people coming. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think it, I think it's great. Um, but I mean, that's, you know, I'm only one person, uh, for the, uh, for the purple rain, uh, live commentary, mm -hmm. uh, does that get like mystery science theater 3000? Like, yes. I love you. Yes. So it was so funny. One of the panelists, I won't name them, were like, you know, what do you want us to do? I was like, have you seen Mystery Science 3? <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I thought. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. So actually, um, we did something similar for the Diamonds and Pearls Super Deluxe Virtual Celebration, where we had like a coordinated everybody. We press play at the same time. And obviously, I mean, even for the folks who will be there, the audio is going to be really low so that the people can actually talk over it. The majority of the people who are coming have seen what we're showing, right? So it's it's more about hearing what the panelists have to say about, you know, watching, you know, 
prints and and, and what we're going to be watching. Yeah, I could watch and, Purple Rain muted and I could tell you exactly what everybody's saying in almost every, I would say almost every scene. I'm not going to say every scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But pretty much. So yeah, like y yeah, the audience is for people like us, right? Like we, yes, we, yes. we know the movie, yes. we know what's happening. However, <laughs> the reason why I do them at um, NYU is because I do invite students. So at NYU, there's a program called the Clive Davis Recorded Music Institute. So I invite all of those students. And then I also invite my own students from um, my program, which is Integrated Design and Media. Okay. So I'm also wanted to, you know, I want like my mission is to keep Prince's name on the list of the children. That's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this. One is to obviously give back to Prince and honor Prince. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm really doing this so that we're not going to be here forever and prince's legacy needs to continue through the youth and so it's important for them to see prince perform so that's you know one of the main reasons why we're doing a live commentary and so i'm hoping that the students will come out and just literally see him perform because i think once you see him perform like um you'll be a fan automatically so i'm hoping that they'll move beyond just wearing Purple Rain as a t-shirt and actually, you know, listen to the album. So I, I invited my class and I told them that they have to listen to the album because otherwise, if they come, they won't have any context. <laughs> so at the very least, listen to the album. And then I told them, hopefully, that if they wanted to, they could watch the film. But at the very least, please listen the to album, the album. Watch the movie. Watch all the outtakes. Listen to all the all the all the, all the demos. Um, you have to definitely watch all of the reviews that I did on my channel. Uh, but go listen to the discussions that Michael Dean did too. I mean, no, you you have to get get immersed. Um. <laughs> yes, got to get immersed. And I'm hoping because you know we're doing the fashion contest that the students will see just how into it, you know, because I know some people are going to really bring it. Like Troy Gua posted his outfit on Instagram and I was like, oh my God, like that is so incredible. Yeah. Uh, so I can't wait to see what everybody has on. So I'm sure like when students are walking into the building we're going to be in, they're going to go like, what is going on today? <laughs> No, no. I mean, honestly, one of the funnest things about going through the schedule it was just seeing all of the people that like, hey, I know that person. Hey, I know that person, too. Like, it's pretty cool, like, just to see, like, all of my friends, like, get to go and have fun and, like, have do this presentation. You, uh, For the record, you had invited me. I just wasn't able to make it work. Um, but maybe next year it'll, it'll happen. Yeah, maybe next year. I'm still debating on I know what I want to do. And I'm going to have another two symposiums again, but I don't know. They might both be virtual. I don't know. It depends on how this one goes. Yeah. I'm sure it'd be fine. It's just that it's usually a lot of work on top of my day job. And also, even though it's free, um, it costs. So I have to raise money and, and all of that. So next year, what I want to do is, um, obviously, it is the 40th anniversary of Around the World in a Day. So I want to do a three day around the world in a day, uh, romance 1600, as well as the family. Okay, cool. So that's going to be one. I haven't figured out what it's going to be called, but I'm going to try to figure that out by Sunday. <laughs> then, I usually announce. And then we're going to have um, a virtual one for gold because we got to celebrate gold. All so. right. Yep. And then one thing I forgot to to mention when I was going through the schedule, when you click on a person, it goes to their profile. So if you want to learn more about them, like all their social media links and whatnot, and for the presentations, you can read their titles of their presentation as well as the abstracts if you click on their names. And you can also get to the speaker profiles uh, from the menu. And you just um, click on people and then you can read whatever you want to read about those people. So definitely take advantage of that. Awesome. Are you are you uh, suggesting that people come dressed in their fashion attire from the get go and wear it all yes. day? Or should yeah. they change into it at dinner time to, to oh. come back for the contest? So no, that, it's uh, so actually. Spoiled. 
Yeah, actually, the contest is before dinner. It's before dinner. Okay. It's right before we break for dinner. But I mean, you can do that. I, I'm not like Prince and my sister. <laughs> like my sister, <laughs> she, like she changes throughout the day. I'm like a one and done kind of person. Like yeah. when I wake up, I was like, this is what I'm wearing. I'm not changing <laughs> again. One hundred percent. And I'm never, I'm never fancy with it either. Like this, I got a t-shirt. Uh, that's this is even. I'm like, uh, my wife was just like, shouldn't you change into one of your print shirts? And I'm like, this is what I'm wearing. I, this, I can't. This is what people are gonna see me, and I could go and do all the trouble of changing, but I don't, I don't got the energy for it. No, but I, I know that I, I'm sure some people will do that though. You know, like for a reveal. Yes. Right. Yes. The reveal could be cool, especially if the if the outfit is like really elaborate and like really awesome. Like you don't want to just sit around wearing that thing all day. That is true. Um, all right, so people, you need to consider that when when you're going. Um, well, you know, I want to say thank you for coming onto the channel again, and hopefully uh, everybody gets a chance to watch this and. You know, especially the people who are going and they'll get a, a nice rundown of what's going to be happening. Can I say one more thing? I forgot. Oh, of course. So um, um, every day when you come into the space at 370J, you will get a wristband. But on Friday and Sunday, you will have a choice. Mm. On Friday, you can choose between purple or yellow, purple for purple rain and yellow for the time because of the ice cream castles. You know about the spines, right? The album Spines. Let me show you. No. So give me one second. I don't have Purple Rain on me, but if you look at the spines of the record, uh, the time is yellow. I don't know. I don't I don't know if you can see that. And then like Apollonia 6 is magenta. It's probably blurry. And then Sheila E is teal. Is teal. Oh, cool. So on Sunday, you can choose between magenta or hot pink or teal to show your allegiance to either Apollonia 6 or Sheila E. And then every day you can choose purple. Obviously. You can always choose purple. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can always choose purple. <laughs> yes. Um, but yes, well, and, and so yeah, so definitely I hope everybody who's going to go gets a chance to check this out. Um, but anybody who isn't going to go now, you know, what's going to be happening. So if you didn't get a chance, obviously to go hit the links in the description, you can stream it. Um, it's free. So like, why not? Right. Go have some fun. I'm definitely going to be watching this weekend. Um, it's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, thank you, D'Angela for coming onto the channel again. And, um, we'll hit you up on the next one. Maybe you'll come back and we'll do a debrief about oh that would be amazing be interesting be like oh that schedule didn't work out Alloy is completely <laughs> wrong about having round tables first i don't know what's wrong with you uh <laughs> i would love to do that eloy so thank you so much for the invitation it means so much to me it really does definitely and then if you enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe hit all the channel stuff and uh <laughs> And uh, thank you for coming to Princess Friend. I love you all. May you live to see the dawn. Check you guys later.